Hey guys, I want to show you a little bit of a proof of concept I've been working on. Um, here we got the Wi-Fi pineapple, I got my computer, got my iPod with my texting app, of course. And um, basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to control this guy right here over SMS. But I don't want to do it because SMS is insecure, so I don't want to have like a bunch of commands flying through there, of course, because if someone sees that, they're going to be like, oh, this guy's up to something. So I want it to just be like a, a normal conversation that you'd have with someone. Um, so for example, if you look at everything I've already been sending to it, it's just been saying like, hey, open the door for me, or uh, put a pizza in the oven, or something of that nature. And that will, when the um, pineapple sees that, it says, okay, so open the door means turn on karma, or something like that. And then it sends a reply back to me, and it's like I'm having a conversation. And this is running on a cron job every one minute, so it takes a while to respond, but I'll just, I'll go ahead and give you an example. Um, we'll just say, uh, if we look here first, um, karma is turned off, so we're going to come over here, and, I'm sorry. Um, hey, open the door for me. Oh, I need to specify what door. And um, there we go right there. I'm just going to go ahead and send it. Uh, that wasn't from the pineapple. <laughs> and like I said, it's on a cron job for every one minute, so it's going to take a second. Yeah, while we're waiting, um, I've been writing all this in Python, and it uses SMS to email pretty much. So whenever the whenever you text the pineapple, you're texting an email address, then that um, reads it and it parses through your email looking for um, a specific sender. When it finds that sender, it gets the message out of there, it looks for keywords in the message, and then um, it it uses SMTP to um, to send you a message back over um, obviously email first, and that converts to SMS, and then you get your message back on your phone or in this case your iPod if you don't want to use your minutes um, I'm going to show you my phone it's this crappy little track phone so that's why I'm using my iPod but yeah right now I'm just trying to kill some time while we wait for this <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up really fast um, I'm going to run the script myself right here uh, press enter. And there we go. And the front door is open. Oh, that's got another message as well. Uh, the cron job got it at the same time. So yeah. And you can see the message is different, so it's not always a, a static conversation. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and say thanks. Thank you. And I'm just going to go ahead and make it manually read that again. Um, it takes a minute for it to get to the server. Uh, one thing I should note is that whenever your pineapple is reading the messages, it's all encrypted thanks to uh, Gmail. Um, it goes through a layer of t t TLS, or yeah, or uh, TSL, my bad. Transport security layer, layer, I think is what it's called, or yeah, whatever. And there we go. It says you're welcome. And yeah, that's a text messaging pineapple. I'm expanding on this a lot more of course and I'm gonna be releasing it once it's done so thanks for watching.